Here we have the Vortex 230 Mojo from Horizon Hobby. And we'll do a quick opening. First we'll take a look at the box. Front, back, sides, top. You can stop the video if you want to see exactly what it looks like. And uh, let's open this up. So inside, I'm just going to put this on an angle. You get uh, two bags of props, HQ quality props. And in the second bag, you have the actual prop nuts. Bag of few cables for different brands of receivers. Also included is a fat shark antenna a strap that you can use to hold down your camera if you want to place a camera on your drone. Here we have the drone itself. Looks pretty good. I like the way the little protector is here for the camera. That's pretty decent. Nice carbon fiber body. Nice and thick all around. Lots of protection on the arms. Really good motors. Here's the motors up close, 2300 kV. Really nice motors. Also a little card to like us on Facebook. The typical Immersion RC stickers. Pull out the bottom of the box. You have the instructions how to bind your quadcopter and set up your transmitter. All right, next I'm gonna bind this to my Spectrum DX6E. There's the Vortex. It's bound nicely to my little DX6E here. We're all set. I just gotta connect the battery and we're all set to fly. All right, so we're out on another day. I don't know why the last time the Vortex actually uh, just turned off in midair. Uh, was it a low voltage issue with the battery? Not sure. Did I hit a switch on the controller? Not sure. So I'm gonna give it a try today. It's kind of windy today and uh, it's actually starting to snow a bit. So I'm just gonna fly it closer to me. So if it crashes, I can find it easy. All right, so that was my flight of the Vortex 230 Mojo. Now it is winter here in my neck of the woods and it's freaking cold outside, so I'm not flying too much. I'm not doing any crazy acrobatics or weird stuff because my little fingers are much too cold. But this here Vortex 230 is pretty cool. Now, one thing I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, I do have the little adapter on it to put a GoPro camera in here. So that's the video you saw was coming from this GoPro. You can pick up these adapters. Just go, just go on the internet, look around, and you'll see they're sort everywhere they come in different colors or whatnot and you can fit them on almost any type of drone this one's actually made for the vortex 230 and it specially attaches right here through the two bolts all right we're going to do a quick wane of the vortex 230 now you'll notice on my vortex 230 i actually have a gopro camera holder right here so let's see how much that weighs by itself because i'm not going to take it off this vortex so i have one here that's already off it weighs 30 grams all right so when I weigh this here, Vortex 230, subtract 30 grams from the total. 
So this comes up to 389 grams. So when you subtract 30 grams, it comes up to 359 grams. So what do I think of the Vortex 230? Well, if you've ever flown the Vortex 150, here's the 150 right here. Now, if you've ever flown this here, the 150 or the 180, you know that these things are freaking fast and super fun. So then how does the 230 compare with the 150 or the 180? Well, it's extremely fast and I love the fact you can put a camera on it, but that does, you know, it does weight it down a little bit, but it still is quite agile when you're flying it. I do really like it. It's much smaller than the 250, the Vortex 250. And here's the Vortex 250 right here. This here is a drone I've been using for about a year now and I absolutely love it. It uh, is the drone I use the most, but I think this here 230 is going to replace this 250 because this drone seems to fly faster, way more agile. So I think this here 230's found the spot. Now why the heck did this 230 uh, suddenly just turn off on my first flight and crash into the snow. So far, I don't have any explanation why that happened. So my overall recommendation is if you already have the Vortex 150 or you already have the Vortex 180 or you have the Vortex 250 and you're extremely happy with them, then there's no need to get the Vortex 230. However, if you have those drones, you've been using them for a year or a bit and you find that you're getting better than the uh, capabilities of those drones and you want to go a bit farther, well then get the 230 because this is going to give you a little few more capabilities. So there you go. There's the end of my review. If you have any questions, post them below. You can pick up the Vortex 230 at any hobby shop around the country. And if not, you can pick it up at Horizon Hobby and I'll put the link below to Horizon Hobby if you want to buy it right from them. Thanks for watching this video and we'll see you again in future videos. Take care.